Outside Turner. They set the pick. Now Hardaway. Nine points in the game so far. Goes up the baseline. And LeBron James gets it to go. LeBron's got four points this quarter. He is setting this place on fire, fellas. This shooting has been off the charts. Hardaway with the steal. And now the Knicks on the break. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. An excellent game we've seen from LeBron. He has 20 points, and from long range, he's hit one three-pointer. Yeah, and you'd expect by the end of this game, I I'm sure the numbers are going to look even better. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Thunder. Boy, their passing has been picturesque, a thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. And one other thing I would add is the mid-range game has been really impressive. I mean, they are they're showing great touch on some of those 15, 17 footers. Six on the shot clock. Here's Coleman. His three-pointer is off the mark. Boy, I'm shocked he didn't make that one. He, he usually knocks that one down with ease. Here's Papa Nicolo. Here's Estrada. And terrific work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. 11 points in the game. you got to put bodies on the glass right there. They, they just are not getting it done on the boards. Yeah, they've got to do a much better job of going harder than that to the glass. Here's the closer, guarded by Hardaway. Here's Coleman. Buries it down low. The closer's got... Seven. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. Uh, and that's a good strategy when you're on top. Collison up top. And there's another Damn. one for the Thunder. That's really set them apart today, guys. That success from the mid-range. Well, these are two teams that clearly you've seen the difference in offensive philosophies here. James, the pass to Estrada. And there's the feed to Turner. New York moving the ball around. Turn around, Jay. Misses off the left iron. In this quarter, he's really been off the mark. He just looks a little bit unsettled. Here's the closer, guarded by Hardaway. Here's Coleman. And no good trying to get that one. And, and it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. This was an exceptional pass, guys, and we see the result. It hits him in stride, and bam, the slam dunk. Mm. Well, it was
was the Oklahoma City Thunder winning their last game against the Mavericks in Dallas. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. So for Oklahoma City right now, Coleman, he's in at shooting guard. Also Collison out there. And it's Norman in at the four-man position. Super defensive play. I mean, if that pass gets through, it's... Cover somebody. In. Both teams will make substitutions. The Knicks have gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. The pass to Estrada. And that one's good. Checked in for Oklahoma City. And a new group in for the Knicks. Oklahoma City's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Sinks that one from the post. The closer's got 39. All the buckets he's poured in today have put them in a terrific position heading into the stretch. Let's the three fly. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. The closer's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And in the paint, they have really shown some strength. Their work on the boards has been phenomenal. Yeah, I'd certainly call it a mismatch, Steve, at least for today. Pass to Estrada. Three-pointer. Thunder with the rebound. Here's the closer. There's a screen to the paint. Here's Walsh. And he can't jam it through. Can't say I'm surprised that one didn't fall. He can barely dunk it in the pregame layup line. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Boy, when you've got a big man who can shoot from distance like he can, what a huge bonus that is. Thunder shooting about 40% here in the fourth quarter. Here's the closer. Goes up off the pit, and he comes off the screen and slams it through. Boy, that's some physical basketball out there. I'm glad I'm not in the middle of that. <laughs> a hard pick and an assault on the buck. Old school stuff there. <laughs> yeah, there was time. a lot to like on that play. That one made... beyond his comfort zone, but he made it count. Back-to-back -back threes for him. The defense is slacking off a little. It does look like their energy is lacking at this point. Shoots off the screen. Jump shot is good that time. The closer's got six in the quarter. This guy's putting on a clinic out there. Everything is sound and sharp and crisp. He's really the centerpiece of their offense. Here's Hudrick. He's covered by Coleman. Here's Reynolds. Misses the three. And no excuses there. Got a really good look at the basket after being freed up by the pick. We say it all the time. The execution was excellent. The result not as good. But good ball movement anyway. Here's the closer. To the inside. Here's Walsh. Loses his grip and misses the dunk. Here's the screen. Kicks it to Fields. Passes it to Reynolds. Puts up a three. That's good. And it's Udrick with the assist that time. That's three in a row, guys. Three three-pointers consecutively. These guys are just raining in shots. Yeah, the defenders can't be as soft as they've been on the perimeter there. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. Their interior defense has been dismal. 
Yeah, and unfortunately, their offense in the paint hasn't been a whole lot better. On the Thunder making a switch here. The Knicks have gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. He dishes it to Fields. Takes a three. Here's Estrada, and the layup's good off the glass. Tell you what, he has been wreaking havoc out there the last couple of games. 131 left in the fourth. And guys, with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who's watched it. I mean, just a total mismatch in a true show of strength for Oklahoma City. And they could do no wrong today, Steve. That's right. This was a team performing to its uh, Clark fullest capability. Yeah, and a very satisfying win for them, too. A game to remember, and on the other side, definitely one you want to forget as soon as possible. And on the year now, tonight's impending Fred. victory will push their win total to 47. Well, they've had this team's number all season, two wins uh, in two meetings. Doesn't seem to matter what building they play in. Yeah, I thought the result might be different this time around, but clearly I was mistaken. I mean, now they'll have to wait until next year for a shot at revenge. Well, you look back at this one, and what an amazing performance this has been for the closer. He did it all tonight, making an impact with more than his scoring as he racked up a triple-double. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free-throw line here. And the first one at the line is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Doubled by Coleman. And Udrich kicks to Fields. From outside the arc. That's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Six on the shot clock. Rebound by Coleman. And I'll tell you what, this has been one ugly quarter for him. And it keeps getting uglier. I mean, his touch has basically gone AWOL. There's a good screen. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. Good from Coleman. And so he makes both from the line. New York shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. Here's Fields. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. Looked like an easy two points right there. You know he's kicking himself for that miss. Here's Coleman. Gets it to fall. They certainly haven't let these fans down tonight. Been a fun night to be in the building. It has been. I mean, the atmosphere has been great, and no doubt that helped with the winning effort. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night, and these guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Well, with a game like tonight, you were all over the place. A triple-double in the box score. Would you consider this one of your better games of the season thus far? Uh, right now, I say, yeah, definitely. But by the end of the season, this won't even be in the top 10. You feel me? This is going to be replaced by my 100-point games, my quadruple doubles, and something else that I have planned that, yeah, I can't even talk about yet. You'll see, Doris. Congratulations, Kevin. You're going to deliver it. Take some chops. All right, Doris, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us for this presentation of NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. For Doris Burke, Steve Kerr, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying see you next time. But first, let's check out the Jordan player of the game.